In this video, we will have a look at variation, deviation, and relative bearing. We will only cover the basics, so this will be a short video. Let us start with variation. Variation is the difference between true north and magnetic north. It is measured from true north to the magnetic north as indicated. Variation is also given a direction. For example, if the magnetic north is east of true north, the variation will be east and vice versa. Direction is indicated with a suffix w for west and e for east. Since variation is the difference between true north and magnetic north, it can actually be described as variation being equal to true north minus magnetic north. This formula can be rearranged to find true north or magnetic north if we were given the variation. For variation direction, we can use a memory aid which goes as follows. Variation west, magnetic best. Variation east, magnetic least. This simply means that if the magnetic direction is larger than the true heading, then variation is west. And if magnetic direction is smaller than the true heading, then variation is east. Next, we will look at deviation. Deviation is simply the difference between magnetic north and compass north. Deviation is measured from magnetic north to compass north. Direction is also indicated. For example, if the compass north is east of magnetic north, then deviation is said to be east and vice versa. Direction is indicated with the suffix W for west and E for east. For deviation direction, we can use a memory aid which goes as follows. Deviation west, compass best. Deviation east, compass least. This simply means that if the compass direction is larger than the magnetic heading, then deviation is west. And if the compass direction is smaller than the magnetic heading, then deviation is east. Finally, we will look at relative bearing. The relative bearing of an aircraft is the clockwise angle in degrees from the heading of the aircraft to a straight line drawn from the aircraft to another object. Relative bearing is always measured from the nose of the aircraft with the nose being at 0, 0, 0 or 360 degrees. The true, magnetic or compass bearing may be found by adding the true, magnetic or compass heading to the relative bearing. Let us consider an example. Here we have an aircraft with an island located exactly to the west. Remember that relative bearing is always measured clockwise from the nose of the aircraft. Therefore, this island has a relative bearing of 270 degrees from the aircraft. Let us say our aircraft is heading 140 degrees true heading. We can then add the relative bearing to the true heading of the aircraft to get 140 plus 270, which gives us an answer of 410. Since there are only 360 degrees in a circle, we must subtract 360 from 410 to get a true bearing of 050 degrees. Remember, we must always subtract 360 if our answer is larger than 360 degrees. This concludes our lesson on variation, deviation and relative bearing.